What's going on everybody? Welcome to Always Occupied Home and Product Reviews. Today we are going to talk about the backyard and how much it costs to actually cut down 20 trees. So back here I had, I had, uh, I think it was like 25 trees or something like that back in like 2019. And like, I think by 2020, summer of 2020, I called the company to come out here to cut the trees. Now, I did not call just one company. If you're looking to cut your trees, you want to call multiple companies. You want to call at least, me, I called over 10. I got different type of quotes. I got uh, quotes that was, the highest quote that I got for the trees was 20,000. So, if you the type to just be with one quote and you don't feel like quoting nobody else or getting a, a quote from somebody else then you shorten yourself with it's your money so you shortening yourself so on and on i got about maybe three good offers one came down to like ten thousand and i was like wow that's ten thousand less than what the highest offer was and then the lowest offer was the offer that i went with with this uh, guy called Amador and uh, I forgot his tree service name but um, he was just here even last week he was cutting my neighbor's lawn uh, not cutting the lawn cutting the trees out of their lawn and then he cut the other neighbors so he was working on two other neighbors on this side of me so I decided to say why not do a blog about how much it costs to cut down my trees I don't know how much it costs to cut down your trees maybe you're in a different state I am in Maryland but maybe it might be more to cut trees up north or it might be more to cut I mean uh, less to cut trees down south I don't know about all of that um another thing you want to take in consideration is the uh, thickness of your tree the thicker your tree the more you have to pay that's just the way it is. They all do the same thing. All the companies, they say the, the thicker your tree, the more it costs to cut down. So back here, I had a massive amount of trees. Like trees covered the whole yard. I will send y'all, I, I will actually post up the photos, of course. I'm gonna post up the photos while I'm talking and the video of them cutting down the trees. Some of the video, I don't have all of the videos, so my apologies on that so i will give y'all the videos on that um cutting down your trees is important if your roots are close to your water your, your water main you want to cut your tree down now in this neighborhood I'm, I'm in when i first moved here i seen about three yards dug into because roots destroy the pipes for their water main so yeah and that type of job is at least eight thousand dollars at least for a company to come out here dig up the soil uh patch up the pipes and then put the soil back blah 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 you got to get permits you got to get uh inspections done the whole nine yards so for me, even out front of my house, I cut down the tree because I don't want the roots to go down, uh, to go through the pipes. Root, roots of trees go through pipes and roots of trees go through homes. Yes, a root of a tree can go through a home. I seen it firsthand. I seen a tree root go through the bottom uh, basement of a home. All right, so what everybody is here for, right? The moment that everybody been waiting for, how much did it cost me to cut down 20 trees? So, it cost me $4,600. 4600 $4,600. And I was amazed at that price. The guy was like, you know... It's a lot of trees back here. I can get the uh, guys to do it in about three days. So he cut the trees and he did the stump, the stump removals. Um, and I am very appreciative of that, man. 
And you know Like I said uh, the, the guy name is Amador I don't have his info right now But if you do uh, You know If you do go for a company Make sure You uh, Get quotes from different companies And make sure They have uh, Their license number they, link, they give you their license number so you can check to make sure they are a legit company. All right, so anyways, um, if you don't have a, oh, another thing. If you have a homeowner association, which I have a homeowner association, you have to go through the process. If it's in their rural handbook, you have to go through their process on uh, tree removal. So if a tree removal is 15 foot or higher in my community, you have to uh, fill out the form, send it to the property manager, and then you know you get the approval from the board or however that works. So yeah, we got the approval to get it done because back here the trees was, you had a whole bunch of dead trees back here. And I'm actually talking in my yard. So there was a whole bunch of trees and most of them was dead. Not half, half was dead and half was good, but it looked, Herocious back here now. I knew that before I bought the house. So When I before I was buying the house, I was like first thing in my mind was these trees gotta go And that's just it um, If you don't have a homeowner association You still you know, just let your neighbor know Hey, look, I plan on getting my trees cut. It's gonna be happening on this day. Just want you to be aware you know, it's going to be loud, blah, blah, blah. So it's just respect. Usually when you're in a no no uh, homeowner association, it's kind of a no respect thing in that type of neighborhood. And we could talk about that on another blog. But And that's all I can really say. If y'all need to know anything else, if I'm forgetting something in this uh, little blog of how much did it cost, um, just let me know. Uh, put a comment down in the comment section you know if you want any other information about you know getting trees cut blah 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 so yeah that's how much it cost me forty six hundred dollars he cut down 20 trees not all trees was a big uh not all trees was really thick but i did have some trees that was really really thick some trees was thin so that will be it that's how much it cost me. If y'all like this series that I'm doing of how much did it cost, just let me know. I'm going to do the series anyway, but I just like to let people know how much something costs before they get into something. I'm a savings type of guy anyway. So, like, comment, and subscribe. Always occupied.